Breaking news tonight, Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. His attorney tells CNN that he is currently being processed. The charges are unclear as of this moment. Ice Cube revealed Jay-Z's alleged involvement in illegal activities after Diddy's recent arrest and legal troubles. With Diddy now facing serious charges, including misconduct and trafficking allegations, Sources suggest that he may retaliate by exposing damaging information about Jay-Z. Some claim this could potentially include allegations of misconduct tied to Jay-Z. He's been arrested in New York City after a grand jury indictment, and we have the breaking news. Though charges in the indictment are unknown, Billboard has confirmed the arrest. The rap mogul has been hit with at least eight civil lawsuits alleging sexual abuse over the past year. Now, according to TMZ, Diddy was taken into federal custody at the FBI's Manhattan field office. In a statement to Billboard, an attorney for Diddy said, We are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man. He is an imperfect person, but he is not a criminal. We'll keep you posted as the story develops. For everything we know, head to Billboard. During a recent appearance on the PBD podcast, Ice Cube commented on the legal troubles surrounding Diddy. He likened the hip-hop industry to the Wild West, suggesting that these legal battles are part of a broader pattern among high-profile figures in the music world. Puff Daddy to me is like a, uh, what's them dudes who, who run the three-ring circus? To, yeah. <laughs> That dude that come out and, you know what I mean? Just the ringmaster. I guess, I guess he the ringmaster. Because, you know, he do it big and he always put on a show. So Puffy is the ringmaster to hip hop. I just figured out with the grand jury and their different sessions and stuff like that, and then what uh, one of the uh, witnesses told me, I just figured it out that it was gonna be around September that they were gonna bring him in, bro. Um, this is, it's, people might not understand. It's difficult when you see a brother that has so much promise become an icon as far as in the music business and stuff that he did uh, to turn around and um, just tear his whole life down. But it's all because of his mentors and the people that trained him and taught him the music business. You know, it's all about the people who trained and taught him the music business because Puff wasn't, um, uh, uh, he wasn't born a monster. You know what I'm saying? He was made into a monster, brother. Do you understand what I'm saying? He was- Jaguar Wright recently sparked controversy by alleging on a podcast that Jay-Z is connected to Diddy's accusations. Although Wright is known for making bold claims about industry elites, there is no solid evidence to support these allegations against Jay-Z. You're hearing Diddy everywhere. Okay. Yeah. So, did you ever have any kind of run-in with Diddy? Did you ever do anything with Diddy? Any projects you worked yeah, out with him? Yeah, he's produced a few records or had his uh, producers do a few records on my um, War and Peace album, the Peace Disc. Yeah. How, how was he to work with? It was cool. You know, he, uh, you know, gave us great music. We, uh, Flew out to New York, and uh, I was mainly in in the in the studio with the producer. You know, he had a stable of producers, so I was in the studio with his stable of producers, and uh, I think we did some great music. Holy, yeah. Any specific reason? Yeah, I mean, you know, they was doing their thing, I was doing mine, um, and you know, I'm not the partying type. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't never been to a, a Diddy party. I ain't never really wanted to go, but. I don't go to a lot of people parties, you know, that just ain't what I'm in it for. You know, I, I, you've been to one, you've been to them all. Are you uh, surprised at what it, what things are coming out with Diddy at all? Or are you like, you have no idea, it's none of my business, you'll live long. <laughs> kind of like the mindset. I, I'm, um, I mean, surprised. How could you be surprised with anything that happens in hip hop? <laughs> you know, it's. You're going to have the good, you're going to have the bad, you're going to have the ugly. You think he's being targeted or some of the stuff he's got, you know, there's credibility on what they're coming after him with the tapes and the feds and rating his Miami home, his L.A. home? Uh, I believe he's being targeted. You believe he's being targeted? Yeah. 
I, I believe, <clears throat> you know, somebody, you know, has the power to pull the trigger to make, you know, this stuff, this domino effect happen. <laughs> you don't think, uh, 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 you know, Shook said, you can say what you want about Diddy, but Diddy didn't learn to like young boys. He learned it from a man named Clive Davis. He threw Clive Davis in there. You, you. Jaguar Wright has made numerous controversial claims about influential figures in the music industry, including Diddy and Jay-Z. She has accused Diddy of being involved in suspicious activities, even suggesting he may have ties to the deaths of key individuals from Uptown Records. According to Wright, several people associated with him allegedly died under mysterious circumstances after starting work on Tell All Books. So oh, who's next? Y'all don't see the lineup? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, we see the lineup. I, I'm just waiting to see who's next. Who's like Jay-Z is setting Diddy up! Oh, wow. Why is everyone having such a hard time? He ain't doing sh** different. He lined up D Haven, stole his life and identity. He lined up Big L, stole his life and identity. He lined up Dame Dash, stole his life, identity, and took his love. Lined up R. Kelly. He wants to be the one. Yeah, shout out D Haven. He actually hit us up, wanted to tell this story. You need to talk to D Haven. Yeah, we need to talk to him. <laughs> I told you that last year you when did. I put you on the phone with him. You did. I want you to think about this. Allegedly, Sean Carter is responsible for enacting Hype Williams to put a Leo on a faulty plane to move. During on. that era. The music industry provided powerful men with the opportunity to exploit vulnerable young women, often under the pretense of mentorship or career advancement. This dynamic allowed many in positions of authority to take advantage of those seeking success, creating an environment where exploitation was a significant, yet largely unaddressed issue. Television projects. He is the most shameful thing I've ever done. There is nothing that I experienced with that person that has not inspired shame except for Unplugged. That was the purest moment um, for me. It was all done in love for music, love for all that was there, love for the culture. Uh, I hate the fact that we did it all for a culture vulture. I still got the footage. There you go. There you go. And in one week, Jay-Z unplugged the actual whole concert from beginning to end will be viewed and able to be viewed on realjag.com. Come and see the history. Come and see the power of that moment, the amazing things that we did with our bodies and our minds and our spirits. Z's relationship with Foxy Brown is notable due to the age difference and power imbalance. Despite Jay-Z's success as a rapper, he wielded substantial influence over Foxy's early career, raising questions about their relationship. Whether true or not, these accusations reflect the broader issue of exploitation in the industry. Although Foxy Brown has never confirmed the rumors, they persist likely fueled by the lack of industry oversight on such power dynamics during the 90s. After surviving multiple affairs, but she had to call it quits as Jay is allegedly facing prison time after his alleged involvement with his best friend Diddy in trafficking. Bay is allegedly separating her assets with Jay to protect her brand after allegedly secretly filing for divorce from him back in June. Bay and Jay knew about Diddy's wrongdoings, so they could be considered accessories to the crime, and some are saying they might be a little more involved with the Colombian dancing powder than we originally thought. Bay specifically might be investigated after it was speculated across the internet that she may have allegedly deleted her competition and may have allegedly had Jay's mistress Kathy White murked. This is why Bay is releasing albums and going on concert because she's trying to stack that paper before the charges. Dame Dash has been outspoken in his criticism of Jay-Z's partnership with R. Kelly, 
particularly after R. Kelly's predatory behavior became widely known. At the time, Dash was in a relationship with Aaliyah, who had previously been involved in a problematic and illegal marriage to R. Kelly when she was underage. Despite Dash's personal connection to Aaliyah, Jay-Z continued to work with R. Kelly, releasing the best of both worlds and even touring together. Jay-Z and Diddy share a very close bond. Diddy recently revealed that only two individuals can call him by his birth name, Jay-Z and his mother. But Cassie and the record producer's accusations against Diddy have cast shadows over their relationship. Because Diddy seems like the new Epstein. Jay-Z faced scrutiny over his alleged romantic involvement with Foxy Brown, who was just 15 years old at the time of signing her. Allegedly a romantic thing. It's, it's all right, I'll say alleged, but we know, we know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, she hit it before Beyonce. Allegedly, Jay-Z orchestrated this relationship in exchange for a Hollywood career, even paying her hush money. Jay-Z's longtime friend and former business partner, Dame Dash, allegedly confirmed the truth. So in this tangled web of fame and secrecy, Jay-Z and Diddy find themselves at a crossroads. So in Dame Dash has been outspoken in his criticism of Jay-Z's partnership with R. Kelly, particularly after R. Kelly's predatory behavior became widely known. At the time, Dash was in a relationship with Aaliyah, who had previously been involved in a problematic and illegal marriage to R. Kelly when she was underage. Despite Dash's personal connection to Aaliyah, Jay-Z continued to work with R. Kelly, releasing the best of both worlds and even touring together. Like, well, how is nobody saying nothing about it? Like, this nigga raping girls, they know that it was a girl, he said he married a 15-year-old, yeah. and everybody, at that point, until it became common, or like, it became the end thing to do, wasn't nobody disrespecting R. Kelly, everybody was still going to his shows. Until it became popular opinion, people weren't looking the other way. So what I was, was disappointed in every fan that didn't care that this dude was raping a little girl. And actually, you know, tried to, you can't sugarcoat it. You cannot marry a 15 year old, period, in America. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? The fact but that she he, died. She died in the plane crash. There ain't no conspiracy there. Yeah. There, ain't, there is no conspiracy. Oh, look at that? No, yeah. we all knew what was going on. He well, made you it up. You're in the world. No. It was common knowledge that he was married to Aaliyah or he painted that picture of him being sexually with her at 15. Yeah. That was publicized. It wasn't no conspiracy. Everybody know. The question is, why you're in the army? Why didn't you think that was weird? Oh, for sure, I thought it was. So, weird. did you still listen to him? Listen to who? R. Kelly. At that time? Yeah. I'm sure I did. Knowing that he was having sex with a 15 year old as a grown listen, man. I mean, are you kidding me? The stuff that we heard with Michael Jackson, everybody's trying to verify. That, that, that's and say, not is, my is that question. Impossible. The reason why I'm asking you this is so yeah. you know the DNA and the problems I have to deal with. Even though a smart man like yourself. Dash has since expressed deep discomfort with this collaboration seeing it as a betrayal of the values he thought they shared. He did the record with, a, uh, with him, with Jay. That's why I was kind of, that was almost like one of the things where I was just like, he's out of here, Jay. I just let it go because I couldn't believe he did a project with her. With, um, Maxie Brown has remained silent about the nature of her relationship with Jay-Z, though rumors of a romantic involvement between them persist. Wait. We didn't, we didn't shame, we didn't shame Jay-Z when Foxy Brown came out and said, man, Jay-Z was f***ing me when I was 16 years old with that horse mm. dick. Foxy Brown said that. Did nobody shame uh, Dame Dash when he got with Aaliyah right after R. Kelly? Foxy was signed to Jay-Z's Rockefeller Records at a young age, and their close working relationship fueled ongoing speculation that their connection may have been more than just professional. While there has been no legal investigation into these claims, they continue to be part of the larger conversations surrounding the treatment of women in hip hop during that era. I'm gonna be coming up soon, work with her. Work with, uh, you know, yeah. You guys work pretty well together. Yeah, yeah. It's that, that, uh, that, that male, female, you know what I mean, point of view though. You, you just that our point of view is so strong that it has to be, you can't be ignored, you know what I mean? It's not an ordinary point of view, it's like very controversial. You know, you gotta speak about it. So, it's cool, it's cool. You guys get along pretty well? Yeah, yeah, Fox, she's, 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 she's a baby, but she listens to me, you know what I mean? She's tough, you know what I mean? She, she's a strong, she's a strong, she's a brat. Well, she listens to me, so it's cool, you know The what allegations me? against Jay-Z and Diddy highlight a recurring issue in the 1990s music industry, 
particularly in hip hop, where power dynamics were allegedly manipulated to exploit young women. Both moguls have faced accusations that reflect the darker side of the industry, suggesting that they use their influence in problematic ways during that era. The person that gets neglected, and you know, I know, I know in the 90s was different. A lot of older guys mess with the girls that were under 17 years of age. And, you know, now we're a little more educated because of the talk shows with Oprah that we went through and Dr. Phil and, and stuff like that. Even Ricky Lake and all of that. We realized that it wasn't so cool messing with the underage young ladies. I never had an attraction for you someone younger. I always looked and had an attraction for older women, so I probably didn't have that problem. But then everybody that I f with did. Everybody. I'm going to expose somebody that we all forget about. Y'all see this picture of Jay? <laughs> Jay-Z with Aaliyah when she was underage? Y'all forgot about Jay, huh? We only know about Damon Dash messing with Aaliyah and, uh, and R. Kelly. But that ain't the only one that Jay had when she was underage. Yeah, I remember Fox Brown and Jay. And then Nelly song with the Link St. Louis takes. But I'm just saying all that to say, Foxy was young then as well. And so, all of these, uh, Wendy the guys. Williams has brought attention to footage allegedly involving Diddy and Jay-Z in inappropriate actions with a young man. Known for her talk show and her tendency to delve into celebrity gossip, Williams has a history of making bold claims and discussing controversial topics in the entertainment world, though her allegations are often met with skepticism. What many people don't know is that Wendy Williams allegedly had a tape of Diddy and Jay-Z partaking in adult activities with a third, very young looking person. She leaked a screenshot of this freak off tape back in the 90s on her radio station and told viewers to check out her website to see it for themselves. She only leaked one frame of the footage since the actual tape itself was so bad it was almost criminal to possess and more than likely illegal to share. Wendy allegedly reported the tape to the police who did nothing because it was impossible to tell if the two people in the tape were the rappers since their face were covered. Unfortunately for Wendy, the news reports at the time echoed the authorities' sentiments as they couldn't verify the people in this video either. But Wendy was convinced and doubled down, outing Diddy as gay and into young boys before anyone else did and Diddy and Jay-Z have become symbols of the darker aspects of the music industry. The accusations against them are part of a larger pattern of troubling behavior within the industry, where power, influence, and exploitation have been recurring themes for years. I'm just glued to my seat, just waiting to see what's gonna happen next. I'm waiting to see if, sure. uh, was Jay-Z's part in it and all this, because his name keeps keep bringing them up. As a society and a culture, we've always, we've always heard and we've always suspected, mm. you know, we just haven't had the right information or the right leaks to continue with the investigations or continue with the the al allegations yeah. as they would consider it. Mm. Uh, but at the end of the day, yeah, you know damn well Jay-Z's involved with this shit. You know, we know how the industry works. You know, it's not about conspiracies or nothing like that. It's just about reality. Like back in the day, we didn't have the technology that we have now, so we were always like, well, is it true, is it, is it, is it, is it? Because we didn't have the right things yeah. to, we got- These allegations are not exclusive to Jay-Z and Diddy. Figures like R. Kelly, whose crimes were eventually brought to justice in court, illustrate just how deeply these issues are rooted in the music industry. The industry has long been criticized for fostering an environment where young women are especially vulnerable to exploitation. Moguls like Jay-Z and Diddy have faced accusations of perpetuating this culture, contributing to the problematic power dynamics that have persisted for years. Sure. When you think of Jay-Z now, you think of Beyonce, and Beyonce is our beloved, and you just don't want to think of Jay-Z. You know, he's this rapper that started out in the projects. He 
kind of had his little gangster rap then he kind of elevated married beyonce we all know his elevation now he's you know pushing black power and all these things and black owned businesses and stuff like that so i find it hard to believe that he would be dumb enough to allegedly as ja jaguar stated get free pregnant um abuse jaguar all these things that she is alleging and she's saying that jay-z has really done worse things than diddy jay-z and beyonce are one of the most iconic power couples in entertainment yet their relationship has been far from free of controversy when they first began dating their age gap beyonce was 19 and jay-z in his early 30s sparked discussions about the power dynamics at play despite these concerns their relationship evolved into a highly publicized partnership, growing in prominence as their careers flourished. However, public controversies have occasionally cast a spotlight on the complexities within their relationship. That session is just like you could imagine it'd be. Jay's quiet. He don't, he don't, he ain't the kind of dude to walk around the studio writing and thinking and some. He sit there and he just, he let the music get in, mm -hmm. you know, and whatnot. And um, Guru's at, you know, at the controls. I'm on the beat. B's over there chilling, cool as shit. She's so humble, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Sweetheart, right? Jay will just be sitting up there humming. He'll be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, making these little sounds and shit. And then he just cock his hat to the side and be like, <laughs> it's, it's go time. <laughs> it's like, all right, guru, I'm ready. That that's simple. Yeah, he go when he cock his hat, and then go in there and just start nailing that shit. I'm like, their continued success, despite facing such allegations underscores how powerful figures can often evade consequences as long as their influence remains intact. This reflects a broader issue within the entertainment industry, where wealth and power can shield individuals from accountability, allowing them to maintain their status and success despite controversies. Main unchild did it was position. He was a powerful guy, so they a lot of people position themselves to him as friends. Yeah, but it's like it ain't. It ain't they job to say something like like what they supposed to say when you got all these wild alec nothing they say is going to change what the fuck is going on jay-z or beyonce whoever could come off tomorrow and say i stand with sean Con you know like whoever right. future could come out tomorrow i stand well, not, it's so not going to change what's been said and what's going on yeah. so it's like whether somebody say something or not what does it change Fit, that's what Fit is basically saying that Jay is like disassociated, just like because I mean we all black dog, and and you'll see these dudes take pictures together. These are the billionaire class of guys. But we may be talking about a Rock Nation brunch from six years ago. We don't know if Diddy and Jay took a picture in the last. When the last time we seen them that's together? A fact. During his appearance on the PBD podcast, Cuba Gooding Jr. remarked that Diddy's actions were foolish stating that Diddy either doesn't realize or refuses to acknowledge that what he's doing is wrong. Gooding's comments add another voice to the growing criticism surrounding Diddy's behavior, questioning the mindset behind his actions. In the morning, I turned to say short, Hector Cuba Gooding Jr. I was like, excuse me, pull me into this. Um, I think, I think whatever he's dealing with, he's, he's on his journey, man. I think that God has got him on a path where I, I can't imagine that he's stupid enough to do whatever he's doing and keep it on his premises. I think that the raid and all of that stuff, only time will tell who was involved, who had been a frequent guest in, in these places and areas. It's funny because my lawyers said, you know, every outlet in the world wants to talk to you. And again, but I had never met him till probably 2019, 20, just casually Claudine and I, he invited us to his house. The pandemic was starting to ease, mm -hmm. you know, and hadn't seen him since that night where this guy with this, this picture, it says that I had my sh shoulder on him and all this stuff, it made it, making it look sorted. Well, that picture, Everyone in the room, there's probably 300 of us on the deck of P, P. Diddy's, I'm going to show you, on P. Diddy's boat, New Year's Eve. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to stay connected for more updates. Until next time.